There you go. Max Your Journey Tribe, what's going on? My name is Alvin, and you found the right channel. I knew you'd be back. You're either a weekend RV warrior like ourselves, or you're here to steal some of my tips and things to buy to get the season started. I got you covered either way. You found the right channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get into the goodies right now from Walmart. And they do not sponsor me, but they do have good stuff. Let's go. Max Your Journey Tribe, RV community, welcome back to the channel. Today I got some great finds from your local Walmart. All very affordable, all within um, your price range, I would say. Let me show you what I got from Walmart today to start our season. And some of these things will last the whole season. Some will last one trip, but you will have them covered with me. Let's get into it. All right, quick scan over the table. I got some stuff in the bags. Let's get right into this right here. We have a RV water filter. There you go. This, we go through one of these a year. You might have questions like, do I need two? Do I need three? Do I need one every trip? We use this RV, RV marine water filter. We use one per season, which is one per year. So several months, this one, we always dry it out after every trip. Okay, next up, let's go right into these here. You have the door flame fire starters. I have the bigger ones for those bigger fires. And I also look for these boxes and I will buy the entire box. These are usually 86 cents. These are usually about $3. The water filter, I believe is about uh, $10. So these are for your quick fires. Nothing like trying to start a good campfire and it's windy, it's hard. These make it a lot easier. There's plenty of tricks like um, cotton or, um, you know, just taking the, the stuff from your dryer and getting all that stuff together and it helps make a good fire also. Moving from these, we move on over to these. We use these green Coleman propane tanks. These are about $13.95 for a four set. We use these for our Blackstone, even though we could hook up to the propane quick connect. We use these right here. I bought two sets um, because I like to be prepared, not chasing these all year. So these can be used for Blackstones at home, the small Blackstone in the camper. Also they uh, heat other uh, Coleman cook grills. So these are very handy for us. Hopefully they'll be handy for you. From that, we're moving on to toilet droppings. Okay, what brand do I go with, Alvin? So right here, you see we got the um, drop-ins, TST Max, there's 15 in here. You usually wanna drop these in probably after each flush, not each flush, but each dump uh, of the tanks. Or you want to do it at the end of each trip. Sometimes that's the case so they last a little longer. There isn't too many bad um, smells if you go about a trip at a time. So we go Thursday to Friday. I might drop one in on Thursday. And I might drop one in on Friday so it can last until our next trip. So that's how we do it. You let me know how you do it down in the comments. Thank you guys so much. We're moving on to toilet paper. Max. What are you doing with two different brands, right? Tell you the truth, it does not matter. Um, this is a two-ply. This six-pack cost about $5 for the six. So you can see here I have two of these. Campus off six. So I got 12 rolls, five, five dollars. This pack is three dollars. You get four rolls in the Scott's, the Scott brand, and we all know Scott. And it's also RV toilet paper. So yes, the question is, and the answer is, you do want to use RV safe toilet paper. It dissolves quicker. And like it says, it's biodegradable. This helps stop those clogs in the toilet. And it's not the same as your house. So do not mix that extra strong toilet paper from your house. You will get clogs. These are the brands we like to go with. Right at Walmart, right in the camping section. $5 and $3. From that... We move on to the plastic wear. That way you are 
covered at all times. If you can find the camping gear set that are reusable, those are better for the environment. They're great. If not, you can pick up one of these boxes for about four or five dollars. Spoons, forks, knives. These will last you pretty much for several seasons, or not for, for the season or several trips, but also if you have a big party and you're out on the road at your campsite. From that, we move on, on, on over to trash bags. Very important for your first trip. You want to remember this. You don't want to leave the site dirty and a mess, right? So you want to have to use some of these. Um, and we usually go with the drawstring. Quality, probably not the best. But with this, I can hang that little string over the outside uh, bracket um, where a TV might go on outside your camper. And we could throw breakfast stuff in there from the Blackstone Kids outside, juice boxes, all that stuff. Don't have to come in and track dirt or let the air out. Great to have a set of these before you get started, just in case. Okay, if you don't already, pick you up some levelers. You can plant, put these right at the front of your camper on the frame. Um, these I think I had since last season because here's a pro tip for you real quick. We use the cell phone. If you have a cell phone, you go right to the settings. It actually has a leveler in there. I put it right on the frame of the camper and the cell phone helps level my camper. I sit it right along the front beam, put it on that setting and it has a little teeny gauge and it tells me when it's center, front to back, side to side. Awesome. Let me show you some other things. Hold on one second. All right, guys, I got a few more things from Walmart. Let's check it out real quick. Here we go. Paper plates. You want to make sure you have a thing of paper plates, fairly cheap. You also want to have those disinfectant wipes, right? We have not forgotten. We want to stay sanitized and clean out there. Wipe surfaces down like always. We always had these. These are great. They're already uh, contained. Grab them quick to go. You also want to stay fresh out there. Camper so tight can get stuffy. You want to have you some type of Febreze fabric softener for those beds, for those sheets, for those smells. You want some of that. Now I need your honest opinion. I got two more things. I need your honest opinion on them. Let me know in the comments below. How about this shirt right here? what you think? You know what it says, Top Gun. I had to get that. I had to get that for the campground, man. I'm an Air Force guy, if you didn't know already. Top Gun shirt from Walmart, fairly cheap. Come on now, I couldn't beat that. Let me know what you think about that. And then I had to be a little over the top. I got this right here. I don't even, I don't know. It's like a half sleeve, some type of tie dye that might be in season. Opinions, let me know. Got the hoodie on there. Got the pocket in the front. Throw some shorts on with it. I'm going to be by a campfire with a cold one in my hand anyway. So I don't need the sleeves, right? You let me know in the comments, guys. I thank you so much. Again, my name is Alvin. And this is the best YouTube channel on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram if you haven't already. Max Your Journey. We are on both, all sites. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We love having y'all. We love having you here. Thank you. Hopefully you find some great finds at your local Walmart. Let me know in the comments what else I should be getting because I forget just like you forget. Thank you so much. See you next time. Max Your Journey.